Medora, North Dakota may claim a population of only 121, but as the state's number one tourist attraction, thousands of visitors descend on the town every summer day. The town owes its prominence to legendary businessman Harold Schaefer, who made his first investment in Medora in 1962. But its growth and efficiency for the past 30-plus years is thanks to Theodore Roosevelt Medora Foundation President Randy Hudsonbuehler. I came here to work because I love young people. That's the reason I came to work in Medora, and I still do. I feel young. I don't feel like I've been here 34 years. The Medora Musical is the high-profile tourist attraction run by the foundation. But in all, the organization operates nearly three dozen business units in the town. There are, on a year-round basis, probably somewhere around 55, might even approach 60 at times, full-time employees of this organization. And then when we hit our peak in the operating summer season, um, we would be close to 375 total employees. And then on top of that, there are about 650 volunteers. So you're well over a thousand people, not always at one time. Uh, the volunteers come throughout the summer and the preseason and the postseason. So, and the, maybe the highest compliment that our organi organization gets is they'll come out and they'll spend time and they'll love it even more even though they'll see our warts. And by that I mean, I, I hear it often, they'll say, I had no idea. I had no idea there was so much going on and there were so many entities and there's a lot of moving parts and the customer never senses all of that. And, and that's what you want. You know, it may be a little uh, tense and anxious and chaotic you know, in the background, but we're really focused on making that, that uh, really comfortable for the customer or the guests when they get here. When he took a job with the Medora Foundation in 1988, Randy committed to work three years. When he saw the plans to rebuild the Burning Hills Amphitheater, he signed on for another three years. But when we got to the third three-year commitment, my wife said, you're going to die in Medora. <laughs> and, and I knew already at that point that I loved it. I mean... I, it, it is more work than people might understand, but it never felt, felt like work. I mean, hours didn't matter. You're, you're in a place where people are having fun. They love being here. You're getting to help take care of them. In addition to running the day-to-day -day operation of Medora, Randy also is the primary fundraiser for the foundation. It's fun to connect with people who enjoy Medora, but I also have um, a, a primary responsibility of raising the, the gifts that have sustained and allowed us to do more things in Medora. Randy took on a new role recently, that of fundraiser for the Theodore Roosevelt Presidential Library. After a successful effort, design work on the library is underway. This sounds corny, but you know, you can make the hair stand up. And it's, it's so amazing that not just this little town of Medora, but the whole state of North Dakota is going to be home to a presidential library and not just any president, it's going to be Theodore Roosevelt. 